Hello! Today we are in Tinsfield, a Victorian Gothic Revival house and estate near Wraxall, England. The house is a great one listed building named after the time baronet who had owned a estate in the area since about 1500. In the 1830s, a Georgian mansion was built on the site, which was bought by the English businessman William Gibbs, whose huge fortune came from guano used as a fertilizer. And just to explain, guano is the accumulated droppings of seabirds and bats. It is highly effective fertilizer due to its exceptionally high content of nitrogen, phosphate and potassium, which are all key nutrients essential for plant growth. The library is regarded as the most important gentleman's library in the possession of the trust. The carpet and some of the furnishings in the library were designed by Craigs, and the book collection is the most expensive Victorian library collection owned by the trust. William Gibbs was born in Spain in 1790 and was a fluent Spanish speaker. He came back to Britain and became a London merchant. He knew the area around Tinsfield well and when the estate came on the market he decided to buy it. It gave him access to Bristol for his trading activities. In the 1860s, Gibbs had the house expanded and remodeled. Building program to create the Gothic Revival that we see today cost £70,000, the profit that his company made in one year. The center of the house is occupied by the hallway and staircase. Many of the family's extensive collection of paintings, most sourced from Spain by William, were donated to the Trust. In part, this was due to their poor condition, which involved not just water, but also guano damage. The most important painting in the collection is the 17th century work Bazambrano of St. Lawrence, which hangs in the middle of one of the walls in the hall. The Gibbs family owned the house until the death of Richard Gibbs in 2001. Tinsfield was purchased by the National Trust in June 2002 after a food racing campaign to prevent it being sold to private interest and ensure it would be open to the public.
The Avery at Tinsfield is situated to the west of the house. It was built in 1880 to house exotic birds, but was converted into a playhouse for Dorin, the first Lord Braxel's daughter. The house sits within 150 acres of parkland, which the trust gained from the auction and retained around the property to preserve the house within its environment. A chapel was added in the 1870s. Overall, it's a great place to visit with interesting indoor and amazing outdoor space. If you like this video, like and subscribe.